All right, y'all, on this video here, I'm gonna teach you how to spray clear coat on your airbrush projects. So I got five things that need to be clear coated that I'm gonna spray some clear on. So first thing, my disclaimer, make sure you follow all your state and local guidelines when it comes to painting. This is for learning purposes. All right, now that I got that out the way, let's go ahead and get this video started. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have your proper PPE. And PPE stands for Personal Protective Equipment. So you wanna make sure you have gloves, safety goggles, an approved respirator, painter suit, and you wanna make sure you have proper ventilation. So I'm doing this in my garage, so I'll have my garage doors open, but you wanna definitely make sure you have proper ventilation. Okay, so when spraying in your garage, you definitely do not wanna have these kind of light bulbs on. When spraying urethane chemicals, the uh, overspray that's in the air is flammable. So you definitely want these lights off. If you have LED lights, then you can keep those on, but regular light bulbs like this, you definitely don't want those on because if it busts with the flammable uh, spray in the air, it can cause a fireball. So I get my light by lifting both of my garages up and I'll take them to about that line right there on both sides and then from my LED light over here. Okay, so my next step, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sweep the garage out. Once I get the garage swept out, then I'm gonna put some water on the garage floor and use my squeegee and get the whole floor wet so when I'm spraying, the dust doesn't lift up and land on my airbrush projects over there. And for those who keep asking what that is right there in the corner, that's my solar generator that I built. So now you know what it is. But like I said, I'm gonna sweep the garage. And then once I finish sweeping the garage, I'm gonna wet the ground using my squeegee and get the floor wet. And then we're going to the next step. All right, so I get my fan set up with my filter. Usually I put like three or four fans. So I put some here, then some down over there. But on this one here, it's gonna be a quick spray. It's real windy out, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just throw one fan right there. But I got my fan with my filters. And I always keep a thermometer in the garage so I know what temperature it is. It's 73 degrees. I always take about two, to, um, two degrees off because of that light. So I'm gonna say it's 70, 71 degrees. And depending on what brand clear you're spraying, then that's what reducer you use. I use House of Color uh, products. So with it being about 70, 71, I'm gonna use the reducer 310, RU 310. But depending on, like I said, what brand clear you're spraying and the temperature depends on what reducer you would use. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the paint mixed up. Like I said, I'm not gonna show you, show me mixing the paint because every paint is different. You just gotta follow whatever brand you got. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get it mixed up and then I'm gonna go ahead and get it sprayed. All right, so I got my clear mixed uh, mixed together with, with House of Color is two to one to one, two parts clear to one part reducer to one part catalyst. And now I'm going to go ahead and put my spray gun filter in. I always spray my clear at 30 PSI and I'm going to take a tack cloth and some compressed air and I'll wipe all the parts down. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to spray a test pattern 
just to make sure my pattern is going to be sprayed right, if I can see that. All right, so I'm going to get that, and we're going to go ahead and get this clear, laid down. All right, y'all, so this is my second coat of clear. Unfortunately, I thought I hit record on the GoPro, but I didn't. The only thing you missed was me taking a tack cloth and some compressed air, wiping everything down. The first coat of clear, all I did was did like a, a tack coat. Then every coat gets heavier and heavier. And um, making sure I get good coverage and doing an overlap when I spray. And like I said, I spray at 30 PSI. And this is House of Color Clear. And I did a total of four coats of clear coat. All right, so this is after 30 to 45 minutes after my last spray. Got both of my heaters turned on, which has the temperature, I think, close to like 90 degrees to help the um, tanks and the panels cure a little quicker. But um, we're going to go ahead and let it sit for 24 hours. Then we'll come back tomorrow and unmask the uh, electric bike gas tanks. And then we'll take a look and see how it looks outside and up under the LED lights. All right. All right, so this is how the two electric bike gas tanks are looking outside. The sun is not out, but you get the picture. This is at the four coats of House of Color clear coat. Got a little bit of trash in there. Nothing we can't take care of. A little bit of orange peel, but we still got to color sand them. Get them buffed and polished out. All right, y'all, so no matter how many times I shot the video, I could not get no good footage of the clear coat. It's gloomy outside and just the lighting in the house and in my garage wasn't the best. So I decided to end the video showing some of my old airbrush paintings mixed in with some of the newer stuff that I did. And it's always good to keep some stuff like this on hand for when customers want to see some stuff in person versus on a website or on a video but I did do four coats of clear on it and I use house of color products and I stick with them until I find something better but if you found the video somewhat helpful or you like it please give it a thumbs up because it helps the YouTube algorithm, algorithm, whatever that is. It helps the video out, pushes it up front so it can be seen. And leave a comment. I try to get back with everybody. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching. All right, so this is outside. Four coats of House of Color Clear. Four coats of clear.